This is the rundown with Rubio for Monday, April 22nd, 2024. Everything happens for a reason. Congress has approved another 60 billion in funding for Ukraine. So that means over the last two years, it's over $135 billion. That's with a B, not an M. Billion dollars to help out Ukraine in their fight against Russia and Putin and all this good stuff. Um, guys, this is never gonna win. You're, you're never gonna win it. So we keep funding and funding and funding with, uh, you know, for our country, let's be honest. We have some prob problems at home. Probably should focus on those. They they helped out Israel, Gaza. They have all these places we're helping out. But not one dollar this weekend went to the United States border. That is just asinine to me that we can just keep funding and funding and funding. And no matter how much money you throw at Ukraine, they're not going to beat Russia. They're not going to do it. They just don't have the manpower. They're already their average soldier is either like 15 years old where they just grab them off the streets or 50 years old because all the middle ones have died. It's just never going to happen. We just keep throwing money away, throwing money away, throwing money away. Uh, there are winners and losers in life. life. Kaylin Clark has reportedly signed an eight-year, $28 million offer with Nike. Good for you, Kaylin. 100% you deserve it. She's single-handedly, and I know there's other been other and uh, female basketball players that have brought light to the game. Cheryl Swoops, uh, Lisa Leslie, all these. But she's the main one that really, really drove everyone to watch it. Hell, I even watched a couple games. Um, so good for you. You deserve that much money. And you know what? Everyone's complaining because she's only making, say, $76,000 with her contract. You got to make money to spend money. They don't make any money, so they can't spend any money on contracts. That They be in the WNBA. So great for you, Caitlin. Good job on a $28 million Nike contract. Accept and embrace. Max Azal Azal Azarello? Well, Max Azarello, he's no longer with us. He died recently over the weekend when he decided to go outside El Trumpo's courthouse in New York City and light himself on fire because he said, quote, he had a sign, Trump is with Biden and they are about to fascist coup us. And then he sets himself on fire. Guys, if you're going to do something in protest, maybe do something a little less painful. I, I, I don't understand how they land on this option. Like, who? he's already out of the news. I mean, it's been like 48 hours and he's already out of the news. And you're really just, uh, to me, this is more of a mental health thing, that this guy is so involved and so involved and so deep in the weeds that he just thinks that this is his only way out. So I feel bad for him. I feel bad for his family. And nothing really gets solved. You're just known as this guy who set himself on fire, just like the last guy who happened about a month ago. And I don't remember his name. Working hard is not enough. Sheets Gas Stations, this is a company called Sheets, they run these gas stations. They are now being sued by Joey B's administration. Why? Because when they're hiring people, they're saying, hey, you gotta fill out this background check. We need to see, you know, exactly, are you a criminal element? You know, have you been in jail? Have you been in prison? How many arrests do you have? Any felonies, any warrants? You know, it's pretty common standard stuff that you'd wanna know from an employee who's handling money and or gas or your company or whatever. Should we be suing it because it's racial discrimination? Uh, yeah, it says inaccurately targeting blacks and Mexicans and Native Americans. <laughs> so it so happens that the blacks and Mexicans and Native Americans are committing more crimes, allegedly. And so now it's saying, oh, you, you can't find out about that because you just, just hire them. We'll figure it out later. No, man, you, you got to do some background checks. I don't care if it's just hiring a babysitter. You don't want a known fe a felon hiring, watching your kid. You do a background check. You ask around. This is stupid. Confidence is the key. A uh, 16-year-old student in Lexington, North Carolina, was suspended for three days. Why? We're using the term illegal alien in a term paper. Okay, so he's doing this homework assignment. He says the illegal alien. And he actually said, do you want it to be, is it an alien, like an illegal alien or an alien from outer space? And they said, quote, it's offensive and disrespectful. And he was kicked out, suspended for three days. If I was this kid's parent, oh my God, would I be losing it? Absolutely insane that this even happened. The principal, the entire school board should be embarrassed himself. If you have any questions, you can email rubio at therubiomethod.com. Hey, so what is the best part about working at One Shots? Um, the family. I love my coworkers. Good people, good energy. You have the, you could be creative. So, uh, yeah, I like One Shots. Uh, we have a small, tight knit community here, and I like working with all of our locals and seeing new, meet new people from all over the country.
Our dedicated staff is ready to work for you. Artbeat specializes in custom apparel. Call us or order online. Free shipping nationwide. Custom printed shirts are our specialty, and we make sure you get exactly what you want. Bring in your own design or let our team create one for you. Promote your business, event, or club with pens, caps, bottles, mugs, and more. Crazy Cool since 1985.